What's up everyone, welcome back to ARTV. My name is John and today we're going to be taking a deeper look at a failed experiment in social media that was done by none other than Apple themselves. Apple is a huge conglomerate that most of us recognize instantly. We have our iPhones, we had our iPods, we have our AirPods, whatever the hell it is, we know and maybe love Apple. I mean, I'm on the side of liking Apple the majority of the time, but they are not without their mistakes and mishaps. And the one that we're talking about today is Ping. No, not Bing, the critically acclaimed search engine. We're talking about Ping. iTunes Ping was a short-lived music social networking tool launched in September 2010 by Apple after Steve Jobs himself handed down a keynote speech that made it sound a lot less cool than what it actually could have been. Seriously, I loved Steve and I have a tremendous amount of respect for the many innovations that he had in his years with Apple, but y'all know Steve didn't give a damn about Ping? Let's phrase the question this way. Do you even remember the failed social network working site Ping that was seen as an alternative to Twitter and Facebook, but for music fans? Apple was historically mocked for taking this seemingly pointless gamble with social media, but there were dedicated fans such as myself that used the service until it was discontinued just two years after the launch. I'll sadly have to use other people's footage of iTunes Ping considering I don't have any screenshots or recordings of my old profile, but rest assured I was on there and forcing all three of my real-life friends to use this service right alongside me. As you you can see from this breakdown courtesy of user Robot Lou, Ping served as a hub for all your favorite music. Your reviews of songs and albums would show up in the feed, and your friends could follow you to see what you'd been buying or rating. Apple also left a lot of questions on the table, such as why not just find a way to integrate existing social media platforms far more likely to succeed instead of building your own, and why does this man explaining iTunes ping to me look like Mac DeMarco's dad? Clearly there's more questions than answers here, so I think the best way for us to get to know what iTunes ping was meant to be is by watching Steve Jobs hand down the keynote speech in September of 2010. We're announcing something really cool, and we call it Ping. What Ping is, is it's a social network for music. It's sort of like Facebook and Twitter meet iTunes. You know, it's not Facebook, it's not Twitter, it's something else that we've come up with. It's a social network all about music. All about music? Sounds great to me. They've got me hooked so far. I'm interested in sharing music with friends, a social network entirely dedicated to music. How are we going to pull this thing off? And so you can follow your favorite artists and friends, and you can discover what music they're talking about, listening to, and downloading. Even better! I love stalking my friends on social media, and now I get to see what music they're listening to, reviewing, and buying? Sign me up! Well, Again, considering, let's be honest here, I signed up immediately when this launched in 2010. And you click on it, and you see all your recent activity in your post, right? So here's a, here's a post by one of your friends that you're following. Here's a post by an artist, Lady Gaga, that you're following. Another friend right here. Oh sweet, so this is just a clunkier version of Facebook, except it's the artists themselves posting to the feed, aka their team, that you've probably paid to be a part of this. Cool, I love Google Plus and MySpace. This will surely complete the holy trifecta of amazing social media networks that will never fail. <laughs> Also, don't you love the way that Steve just brushes off his friend Jim Warhol at the end of that clip? Another friend right here. Yeah, we got Lady Gaga posting on this shit, and then there's, uh, this friend, I guess, as he quickly tries to exit out of the screen as fast as possible. Like, you know that was an Apple employee that they forced to make an account, and they went to the trouble of reviewing an Arcade Fire album, and you're gonna do them like that? That's cold, Steve! Stone cold! Ping is a social mu- it's for social music discovery. And you can follow people and you can be followed. And here's how it works. Okay, so this is pretty much turning into the equivalent of a 13-year-old doing a Sony Vegas tutorial where they show us how to split a clip in the timeline. Press the fucking S key. Or for all you pingers out there, smash that follow button. Seriously, why do we need two minutes breaking this down? So Steve starts explaining how to comment on posts, which I was going to completely skip over, but then this happened. You know, here's a song. Eddie has uh, posted a song here. And uh, I could uh, preview it here just by clicking. 
Whoa, Jesus Christ, man, you trying to get my video claimed? Your pal Eddie there, he's got a real fine taste in music, though. Paramore for life, dude. I love that right when the song starts playing, the camera operator just cuts to this overhead panning shot like they're actually at the damn concert with the band. Hey, if it were me, I'd totally break out my lighter and sway. Just saying. The keynote closes with him hitting on the fact that Ping exists on every Apple device, which kind of gets some applause, but it seems like people are more confused than anything else. Please clap. Enough with the jokes at Apple's expense. You can tell that this is something that Steve really was passionate about, and it just didn't work out in the long run. It was a good idea. I would have loved to have seen this succeed and come to fruition, but it simply never got there as it shut down on September 30th, 2012. I personally actually have a lot of fond memories of iTunes Ping. I really liked how I could see what my friends who were away at college were buying, rating, sharing, and everything like that, but the only real problem was, well, I guess one out of about a dozen was the fact that literally no one was using this. It was like a ghost town over there. They allegedly had over 2 million ping users within the first 48 hours of the service launching, but I can pretty much guarantee you that the majority of those signed up out of morbid curiosity. Why am I so certain about this? Well, to reiterate, the service shut down two years later, but while it was up, holy mother of God, spam comments everywhere. Yep, ping had a real spam filtering issue, and they never fully got it taken care of, probably because ping was never a top priority for Apple, especially once current CEO Tim Cook took over. If you went to the comments section on Ping for, say, Jack Johnson, Lady Gaga, Paramore, or really any artist, you'd be sure to find a plethora of comments screaming, free iPhone giveaway for Gaga fans, click this mysterious looking link that's certainly not virus infected, but click anyways. Okay, maybe it didn't say the virus part, but if you're clicking on wonky looking links like that expecting to win a free phone, Maybe you deserve the virus. Now that we're nearly a decade removed from the service's launch, we can look back and see Apple's massive social media failure. This was an attempt to play in the music social media market, but it turns out that Twitter, Facebook, and eventually Instagram and more were more used as a space to share music and thoughts and opinions with friends. It's truly taken over at this point and become a dominating force, but there's a part of my heart that misses paying having a slice of that market. It's like Friendster or MySpace back in the day. You were kind of low-key rooting for them, even though you didn't use them religiously. I always wanted Ping to be more of a thing, but they didn't introduce enough features to actually get people hooked. My question to you guys is, did you actually use this service? And do you remember it launching? Even if you didn't have a profile on there, do you remember anyone talking about it? Or did you just hear about the spam comments and stay the hell away? I'd like to know what you think in the comments section down below. And remembrance of Ping, our fallen friend, a service that was discontinued about seven years ago at this point. It's something that I think of from time to time, and I thought it would make an interesting video topic, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed. I've been branching out and trying a few commentary-styled videos over the past six months, so if you want to support this type of content, then one, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos like this, and also leave a like. It lets me know that you're enjoying this content and want to see more in a similar vein in the future. Anyways, other than that, you can check out some recent videos here. Hit me up on social media, most active on Twitter. Links in the description, and I'll see you soon for more on ART. TV.